Fire has historically had a place here in the prairies of South Dakota. These fires encourage the growth of native grasses and forbs and keep our grassland ecosystems healthy. With urbanization and the encroachment of agriculture into South Dakota, natural occurring fires have become less frequent on the prairie, affecting its ecology. Because of this, both public and private land managers have been writing burn plans and utilizing controlled fires or prescribed burns to be able to mimic the normal ecological processes. A burn plan is a document developed prior to a fire that identifies how a fire will be implemented. It includes things such as funding, equipment, staffing needs, maps, weather parameters, fuel types, fuel moisture, topography, firing methods to be used, smoke management, contingency plans, emergency contacts, public and personal safety measures, and many more specific details for a fire to be conducted safely. All these details are discussed during a pre-burn briefing on-site. Apart from creating a burn plan, a burn boss and other certified staff are needed. Specialized clothes and gear are also required. These items help ensure the safety of staff and other personnel on-site. With a prescribed burn, we are trying to reach specific goals and objectives for the grassland. However, conducting the burn in a safe and controlled way is priority. There are three key pieces that we monitor that influence fire behavior. These are weather, topography, and fuel. These three components are evaluated for each burn unit. Safe parameters are set in a burn plan prior to a prescribed burn. So what is the reason we burn here in the southeast? We burn during late spring and early summer seasons with the hopes of removing non-native plants such as Kentucky bluegrass and smooth brome, while encouraging native plants to grow that are more beneficial to wildlife and our pollinators. Here at the South Dakota Game Fish and Parks Outdoor Campus in Sioux Falls, we are going to burn a plot of land to encourage native warm season grasses such as big blue stem, little blue stem, Indian grass, and other native flowering forbs. As you can tell, this spot has not recently been burned since it's located in the city. Similarly, we burn on game production areas to encourage these same native plant species and keep habitat healthy and productive for wildlife. The results of a burn speak for themselves. In the habitat management world, we use a variety of methods for controlling non-native plants, such as grazing, haying, mowing, and spraying. These are all effective in their own way. However, fire is one of the best tools that we have to manage South Dakota's grasslands.